Hello everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at how to configure heli control to increase the spawn rate of the helicopter and also increase slash decrease damage and damage on um, the helicopter's parts. We're not going to edit the part damage or the damage, but show how it's possible. In front of me here we have the config file. Um, when you open it, this will show if you haven't edited anything. If anything has the negative one value, it is default to whatever Rust um, wants it to be. So, say time before unlocking the ZH47 crates, which is the crates uh, locked after shooting down a helicopter, also these crates probably. Uh, it's the default timer, which is I think five minutes for vanilla rust. We should just keep that that at, at least for my server. Right, so let's come back to cooldowns for later. We can start with damage, global damage multiplier. So what this does is it's going to multiply how much damage it actually is dealing according to what you have set or what is the default to rust. I'm gonna leave this at 1, it is exactly the same damage as my server has always been without this plugin, aka default to rust. And the gib damage is going to be set to 500, which is default to this plugin and probably the default to rust. So every part of the heli has 500 health. This is of course when you're harvesting it. Time until gibs can be harvested, this is of course self-explanatory. The timer for whenever you can harvest all the parts that has dropped from the helicopter after you've shut it down. So I will put this at 300 because 300 is 5 minutes and I, th I believe that 5 minutes is the default timer. And 10k as the default or the base health of the helicopter. The main rotor health and the tail rotor health, let's just keep it at this. Uh, all the health, just leave it there. I believe the limit is a limit to how much or ho how many helicopters a player can call in a day. Uh, a day in rest, by the way. Uh, so, for example, if this is set to 2, the player with limit dot zero permission has only access to calling two helicopters a uh, arrest day uh we're just gonna leave it at five also the same for this one um this is just another type of heli the cooldowns is basically the same t thing if i were to reduce this cooldown to say 300 it means 300 seconds so that means I can call another helicopter after 300 seconds of spawning another one. Uh, let's just keep that default because we do not want to mess with it. Uh, I do not want to mess with this. Um, although this is something you could add to your VIP ranks, which I'm probably going to do. So I'm going to add a cooldown of, let's say, if if I gave cooldown.0 to my elite rank and just kept this cooldown on it, 86,400 seconds equals to one day or 24 hours. It would let elite ranked players call in a helicopter every 24 hours or 86,400 seconds to be exact. Be very careful with how you actually um, give out the permissions or uses. So for limits, of course, as I already have said, uh, this goes to uh, for how many you can actually call in a day. Uh, I believe it's 24 hours or one rust day. I'm not quite sure, um, but I think it's for one rust day. Do not quote me on that. So max crates to drop. Uh, this, I think it's the default number, um, a chopper or heli can only drop up to 4 crates and that is a pretty good number to me. We do not want custom loot spawns, that means uh, it will use any custom loot plugins that you have 
or it will not use heli controls loot table which you can do but I will not do that of course um, if you want to turn off the heli shooting while it's already been shot down when it's on its way down you can change this to false um, sorry uh, but I think it's better to leave this at true in helicopter speed 25 Startup length in seconds zero, startup speed 25, and it's lifetime, uh, it's default to 15 minutes. Some people do have problems shooting it down within 15 minutes, so I would maybe increase it to 20, 20 seconds. However, I'm running a modded server, a 20x server, so I'm gonna leave it at 15. People should be able to shoot it down pretty easily. Preventing crates from spawning when forcefully killing helicopters means if you use the slash kill heli or slash kill CH-47 uh, which will kill the helicopters on the map um, having this at true will stop every single loot crate from actually spawning from that helicopter and just va the helicopter will vanish um, at least it won't drop any crates I would leave this at true, but false if you want to somehow, I don't know, if you wanted to drop crates even though you use a command to kill it. Here's the amount of water you need to extinguish napalm flames. Um, I think, I think the pre flames are pretty OP, uh, kinda, if you know what I mean. It has a lot of health, uh, so I would probably decrease this to half the amount it already has uh, maybe even less but let's half it for, for now blunt damage to deal 175 I'll just keep every rockets config at default this means how much damage it will deal with a single rocket but only with the blunt kind of damage which basically means an impact the second one, explosion damage to deal, 100, this is also the default to rust, it means it's the explosion, it's the AOE, area of effect. Also you can change the AOE, you can increase it or decrease it, this is in, uh, I th uh, I'm not quite sure if it's meters or blocks, but I think it's meters. And of course the uh, amount of rockets uh, you want the actual helicopter to shoot at once in one strafe and the time between each rocket fired with a within that 12 rockets you know it will it, with the 0 0.2 it will shoot one rocket each 0 0.2 seconds if it's targeting you and if it's if it actually wants to shoot a rocket and when looking at the spawning function in, on in this plugin it does not spawn a chopper every single second when it's at zero. It rather means that it won't spawn any uh, automatically. If you wanted to spawn a CH-47 automatically, you could increase the minimum. So say if you wanted to have at least a five minute timer, you should put five or 300 seconds for five minutes and a maximum of let's say 900 seconds which means 15 minutes um, it would at least spawn one CH-47 chopper or heli within that 15 minutes with a minimum timer of 5 minutes I would leave this at zero because this is a Chinook one you should all, always leave this at false so that more choppers or helicopters uh, should not be able to spawn at once because that's just a mess automatically call helicopter between mag seconds this is the standard heli i would like this to spawn uh, more frequent than what it is right now so let's say if i wanted it to spawn every th say 20 to 30 minutes let's say that is 20 minutes Hmm, 
let's say 40 minutes, which is 2400 seconds. So between 20 minutes and and 40 minutes, at least one regular heli should have spawned. And if it have if no one has ever shot it down, it will not spawn another within that timer. This might actually be too frequent when I'm thinking about it. 2100, which means uh, 30 minutes. Let's say 3000 seconds, which is 50 minutes. Let's say 3600 seconds, because that is one hour. Between 30 minutes and one hour, at least one should have spawned. And Chinooks to spawn, it's at one default. Disables the H is 47 default spawns. False. Disable helicopter false. Disable helicopter games false. What this would have done is uh, the parts you can harvest. If you put this at true, it will actually disable them. So you should not do that. You can actually disable the napalm or fire and flames on the crates. I wouldn't do that because it kind of ruins the PvP aspect. And disable rest's default spawns. I think we should put this to true. Uh, what this does is uh, letting heli control and other plugins, if you have any, uh, control helicopter spawns. So I would put this to true. Helicopters to spawn one. Do not increase this uh, unless you want a, a ton of new entities, and it it will. Ha it has a chance to lag players out, it has a chance to break stuff um, or lag the server. Of course it depends on your server's performance. Mine would probably not mine more, however if you have a bad server uh, running on your own computer I would not touch this. Uh, max active helicopters, minus one, that means default to rest. Kill some helicopter spawns. You can actually put in spawn points using commands. I would just leave this at false. It lets the uh, default helicopter spawn points be the spawn points. Use static spawning should be set to false. Um, if you put if you set this to true, the cooldown or timer will start as soon as one chopper or heli spawns. So you should leave these two at false, so it's, it's counting from the chopper's death instead of spawn. That's really important. I could I could actually reduce this to make it feel a little bit more frequent. However, I'm not going to do that. Helicopter bolt accuracy. This is the default one. Also the damage and speed. Uh, I would leave it at default unless you have a a server where the difficulty should be higher. This is the damage it will do to players and the accuracy means how good it is at hitting players. And the bullet speed is how fast the bullets actually travel from the chopper to you or any surface. And the max range. I would leave all these at default. These three I would also leave at the, the third burst is whenever it's turning around for you and it's just bursting out bullets shooting you and it means that it will shoot a burst which lasts for three seconds. Just bullets, not rockets. And the fire rate of course, the lower, the more bullets a second or the more bullets it actually fires, if I would put 0 0.025, it would shoot fast like crazy. So keep this at default. That is my recommendation. I can type flash strafe and somebody's name, let's say my name, and the chopper will actually pursue me and fire rockets at my position. There we go. There's the rockets fired towards me. I'm in god mode, of course, so that I can make this tutorial <laughs> easy. I can also type slash heli test. 
uh, slash heli test stig paint this will let the chopper uh, know where to fly it will the chopper or heli will now fly to wherever I'm located so my location As you can see it's closing in this can be done with any player so if you know any other players on your server or whatever you can actually target them you can also do slash kill heli it will die instantly I can also do with this I can do slash kill napalm to remove all napalm and I can also do slash kill gibbs to remove all the gibbs or parts let's say parts for the heli let's let's say this chinook just kill ch47 boom it's dead as you can see the crates actually spawn or this crate uh it's a different one than what i wanted to show but i think that is all you need to know um if you want more videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel comment down below if there's anything you want to know any other plugins you want help with and i'll try to make a video as soon as possible thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helps you on your adventure on whatever service use this feature remember my server has this feature in the description below and probably on the screen right now is the server discord link and name for the server make sure to join say hello i'll see you later goodbye